You asked for my hustle. I gave you my heart because it came with so much more. It's the ultimate sacrifice. Greatness has a cost. It reschedules your plans for you. It puts your family and friends on hold. It makes you feel misunderstood. And it will put you in some deep, dark holes. Greatness demands everything from you. Your mind, your body, your spirit, and your soul. So what do you do when you shoot four air balls in a playoff game? What do you do? Do you sulk? Do you weep? When you disappointed all of your teammates, when you let down all of the fans, do you ask for sympathy? Do you ask why me? When they blast the coach for keeping you in the game, do you blame yourself? When they've drawn up their own conclusions about how your career is going to end, do you wish you could go back in time and make a different decision? Or do you get off of the plane and go straight to Palisades High and get the janitor to open up the gym and lock yourself in there until the sun comes up and you go shoot and you drill and you relive that moment and change the outcome over and over again. Decisions shape our destiny and obsession can be beautiful. What separated me is not a gift. It was a hunger. A hunger to hunt when others would eat. A hunger to hone in when others thought they perfected. They had a crossover. They had a fadeaway. They all wanted rings, but they also had obligations. They weren't willing to cut it all off. See, it's not just about going to the court, shooting, dribbling, practicing the same move again and again. No, no. Lack of skill is from a lack of mind on and off the court from a little boy sitting on the ball in the park to a grizzled veteran on his last legs. It's been a mission from day one to impart what I know so you can better understand yourself. I'm here because the game needed me as much as I needed it. The game was my comfort a platform to grow and teach others the same. It was where I learned about the terrors and joys of life, of ice baths and buzzer beaters, of struggle and of gold, and everything in between. It was where I transformed the darkness to come closer to the light. And it always brought a new challenge a flaw that needed to be healed. And the game would send the medicine directly my way. And you will have to make that choice for yourself, whether that treatment would be worth it or not for you. But greatness cannot come without that cost. How do you press enough without pressing too hard? How do you go far enough if you don't go too far? How do you get 11 others to begin their relentless pursuit? To duplicate yourself, not in terms of skill, but in terms of competitive spirit. To instill the intensity, to impart that DNA so they can be champions on the court and then off of it. How do you prove to the world who you really are? to honestly express yourself. The media will paint a story. The fans and critics will create their own, but no one's expectation, no one's, could live up to my own. I am that killer snake. Yeah, I'm stone cold, man. My love to become more and to give 
more. I did everything for you because that's what you do when someone makes you feel as alive as you've made me feel. Shalom, shalom. The cost of living or the price and definition of winning. Allow me to explain. My son and daughter's first words I missed. First day of school. So convinced that I had to make money. And the little bit of time I spent, that when they got older, that it would all make sense. I risked it all, my marriage and my kids, in exchange for a little lifestyle that the rich ones lived. Got a wife, uninvested, and guessed that. Birthdays and anniversaries, I kind of neglected that. For a check, sofas, and spoons, and things that made the heart woo. In return, all she got was my sleep disorder, migraines, post-traumatic stress disorder, single mother life, things that make you examine the man in the mirror. Here I am. I had to risk it all. Why? Poverty, the weight and the expectations of the world, a failure. And sure, there are all good reasons for why, but myself, to answer that question, it's because I am what I am. Learning and maturical growth is worth every penny. So make sure you understand the cost of living, who it affects, and who it makes you become. Value the important things in life. Keep the most high first, your family nearby, and never compromise your morals. The cost of living.